everyone, it's Kendra for Sassy and Crafty, and today I'm sharing a sunset scene card that I made using the Cityscape stencil set. I'll also be using the Storms Do Not Last sentiment stamp set from Sassy and Crafty. Now this stencil set features four different city scenes, including New York and Paris, a row of buildings, and the, this one here that I'll be using that has the Ferris wheel on it. Now I'm using some black alcohol ink cardstock because I wanted it to be super black and also heavyweight so that it wouldn't warp once I apply the lunar paste. Now this is a five by seven sheet. So I'm going to trim this down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches so that I can use it on an A2 card base. And once this is done, I am going to apply some pixie spray to the back of the stencil to hold it in place. This is a low tack spray that is available for sale in the Sassy and Crafty online store. Now I held the stencil over my trash can to spray it <laughs> and I'm going to let it sit just a little bit before attaching it to the cardstock. Now I'm also going to add some low tack mint tape to the back just to help hold it in place. So to create this scene, I'm going to be using these Lunar Pastes here by Simon Hurley. These are manufactured by Ranger Ink, and I'm using these three colors. Now, I did pull out this blue one here, but I ended up not using that one. So for the, this first color is called Slippery When Wet. It's the yellow color, and I'm taking my palette knife, and I'm going to apply this along the bottom part of the stencil. So I'm kind of creating a sunset scene. And of course, I want the yellow to be at the bottom. And I wasn't sure if this palette knife was going to get this as smooth as I wanted it. So I did have three sponge daubers handy so that I could smooth it out if I needed to. And I did put quite a bit on here. I didn't realize how much was on this palette knife. But here I'm just trying to smooth that out as best I can with my palette knife. And I ended up switching over to the sponge dauber just to get rid of some of those clumpy areas and to clean off my palette knife. Now, I did speed this up just a little bit, but I wanted to mention that anytime I'm working with pastes or gels or any kind of mixed media, I like to have some baby wipes nearby so that I can easily clean up my mess. I tend to be a very messy crafter and this is the first time I'm actually using the lunar paste. So for this next color, this is called Traffic Cone. I um, started out using, or I thought I was gonna use the palette knife, but I figured I'd try the sponge dauber just to see if it applied it any better. And I did not get as thick of coverage as I did with the yellow one. So I definitely recommend using the palette knife, at least at first, and then come in with the sponge dauber just to smooth out any clumps. So you can kind of see here that this orange color is a little bit thinner than the yellow. So in hindsight, I would have gone back and just stuck with the palette knife. But here I'm just kind of rubbing this in and I'm trying to blend the yellow and the orange some together so that it looks like a smooth transition and it looks like a sunset. So for the next color, which is called Beasting, I believe it's red, I decided to I'm use the palette back knife in. again with each um, of the different colors the, just like to I said blend before those, I uh, used my sponge together just a little to more. smooth out any clumps. So before this dries, I'm gonna carefully remove the stencil. This is my favorite part, the big reveal. 
and oh wow this is beautiful i love how dark that black cardstock is now the tops of the buildings did have a little bit of clumping around it so i tried to use the palette knife to work some of that thick paste to work that out um, but i'm going to end up covering that up anyways with my sentiment which you'll see here shortly so i'm going to set this aside to dry i did let this dry for overnight and so the next part i'll go ahead and get the stamping for the sentiment out of the way this is the storms do not last sentiment stamp set and it has some great sentiments like even when you feel alone you aren't and i'm here for you it will get better you matter and i'm going to be using the one that says always together never apart maybe in distance but never in heart i think this goes perfect with this um, scene that i'm building and so I'm using that scrap piece of black alcohol ink cardstock that I cut off earlier and I'm placing it in my Misty stamping platform. And I'm applying some Versamark embossing ink to the stamp. But before stamping it, I ran my anti-static powder bag on top of the cardstock. And then I stamped this several times just to make sure it had a good even impression. And I applied some pressure on top of my Misty using an air hockey table pusher. <laughs> it actually works great. It's got felt on the bottom. And so I'm applying several so coats, I'll like I said. I'll cutting down and then the next panel be to put on a white card base. So white I thought embossing I would powder white in by using top. some white embossing powder. So here I'm just flicking off the excess powder using my paintbrush. And then I let my heat tool heat up for at least 30 seconds before I started applying that to the, the powder here to, in order to melt it. For my card base, I'm using a sheet of Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock that I've cut in half and I scored it in the middle at four and a quarter. And now I'm gonna trim down my background to measure four by five and a quarter inches so that it'll have a white border around it whenever I place it on the card base. So I'm also trimming down my sentiment. This I'm gonna place on the tops of those buildings where the, the paste got a little clumpy. And so that'll cover up that little oopsie. And then um, I'm gonna cover up that little skinny tower with a wooden heart. But I wanted the wooden heart to be um, not so noticeable. I wanted it to be red, so I'll be coloring that with some lunar paste here in just a bit, but I'm gluing down my panel to my card base using some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And then I'm gonna put my Misty Stamping Platform on top just until it dries to flatten it out. And so here I'm just using the sponge dauber to apply some of the red lunar paste to this wooden heart because I didn't want it to stand out too much. I wanted it to be red like the top part of my sunset. So like I said before, I applied some foam tape to the back of the sentiment. Here are my, these are my scissors that I specifically use for cutting things like this. They're super sticky. I need to clean them off, but um, I'm just going to place this over the tops of these buildings here. And then I'm going to add the wooden heart to the top of that tower. And, and now I'm going to use finish some off the card, really I'm just strong adding liquid some glue so that it will stay on. I actually use the Gina K Connect to add I'm that. I'm just going to set it on the top of some of these buildings here. And then one in the center of the Ferris wheel. And then one next to my sentiment. And then this will finish off the card. I just love how this shiny lunar paste looks with these cityscape stencils. And I can't wait to make more using the other stencils in this set. It was really quick and easy, and I think the results are just stunning. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel also if you're not already a subscriber, and be sure to click on that thumbs up. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this project inspires you to create some fun backgrounds using your sassy and crafty stencils. I will see you next time.